in triangle ABC, angle A is equal to 150 degrees and BC is equal to 74. D is a point on BC such that BD is equal to 14 and angle ADB is equal to 60 degrees. Find the area of triangle ABC. This question is actually International Mathematical Olympiad Preliminary Selection Contest, Hong Kong 2023, question 7. What makes this question interesting is that the given conditions are simple enough. However, it takes a little bit more thought to solve it. And indeed, we don't have to construct any extra straight lines. What we use in this video are two simple tools in trigonometry. You will see that in a second. First of all, we have DC is equal to 60. Next, we have three unknown sides from the point A. Let them be x, y, and z. Now, we need three equations to solve them. Before we set them up, let's figure out this angle theta. Using adjacent angles on straight line, we can easily find that theta is equal to 120 degrees. Well, we have 60 degrees, 120 degrees, and 150 degrees. They are all special angles. There should be something tricky behind it. Let's move on to see what's happened. Let's start with the green triangle. Here comes the first tool of trigonometry, which is the cosine formula. We have the side y and the angle 60 degrees opposite to each other. So y squared is equal to x squared plus 14 squared minus 2 times x times 14 cosine 60 degrees. On the right, 14 squared is equal to 196 and cosine 60 degrees is equal to 1 over 2. We copy the rest of the terms. Then the right hand side can be simplified to x squared plus 196 minus 14x. We call this equation 1. Now let's look at the red triangle. Again by the cosine formula, z squared is equal to x squared plus 60 squared minus 2 times x times 60 cosine 120 degrees. Here, 60 squared is equal to 3600, and cosine 120 degrees is equal to negative 1 over 2. The structure of this equation is very similar to the previous one. Now, the right hand side becomes x squared plus 3600 plus 60x. This is our equation 2. So, we need one more equation. Where does it come from? Let's look at the largest blue triangle. We hide the side AD at the two angles for a moment. This time we have 74 square is equal to y square plus z square minus 2yz cosine 150 degrees. The left hand side is equal to 5476. On the right hand side, cosine 150 degrees is equal to negative square root 3 over 2. We keep the rest of the terms and do the cancellation. So the right hand side of our third equation is y squared plus z squared plus yz times square root 3. Let's put the three equations together. We can substitute y squared from equation 1 into equation 3. Likewise, we can do the same for z squared from equation 2. Then we get the following. It looks a bit messy, but we can simplify it right away. There are some like terms, such as the x squared terms and the x terms. We also have another unknown term on the right. Next, put all the constant terms to the left. Then the equation becomes 1680 is equal to 2x squared plus 46x plus yz times square root 3. Let's call this equation 4. Well, it's not nice enough because the right hand side is still in three unknowns x, y, and z. In particular, we have the cross term y times z. How do we deal with it? Here comes the second tool, which is the formula of area of triangle, 1 over 2 ab sine c. This formula looks good in our situation. Let's go back to the figure and see why it is the case. 
If we look at the blue triangle again, the area is equal to 1 over 2 times yz sine 150 degrees. This is the cross term y times z we are looking for. Moreover, sine 150 degrees is equal to 1 over 2. So the area is simplified to 1 over 4 times y times z. Actually, we can do it in another way. You see, the area of the larger triangle is the sum of areas of two smaller triangles. For the green one, it's equal to 1 over 2 times x times 14 sine 60 degrees. For the red one, it is equal to 1 over 2 times x times 60 sine 120 degrees. It is so nice that both sine 60 degrees and sine 120 degrees are equal to square root 3 over 2. So this expression can be simplified in terms of x only. Therefore, the area is equal to 37x times square root 3 over 2. Now, we can put an equal sign between these two expressions. Multiplying 4 on both sides, we get y times z is equal to 74x times square root 3. Let's call this equation 5. Great! We can combine the two results together. Putting equation 5 into equation 4, then it has only one unknown x. Simplifying a little bit, we can see that it is a simple quadratic equation. x squared plus 134x minus 840 is equal to 0. Moreover, it is not hard to factorize it. So we have x is equal to 6 or negative 140. Clearly, this value is rejected because length must be positive. Then we can answer the question at the beginning. Recall that the area of triangle ABC is equal to 37x times square 3 over 2. Putting x is equal to 6, we get the answer, which is equal to 111 times square 3. If you know any genius method to solve it, please leave it in the comment section below. Want to see more interesting geometry problem? Do check out this video right here on the screen. I will see you there.